the Pan-African Festival in 1969, August, for a week, at least a week, was uh, the beginning of me understanding how free jazz and culture that was based on the black pride that they wanted to experience from the American musicians. They also had Nina Simone, Oscar Peterson, of course, Canadian. Miriam McCabe had just married Stokely Carmichael. He was there. And uh, we all felt through the United States State Department that we were celebrities. So with that setting, you can imagine the festivities. There was 24 hours of celebratory drums. So you couldn't sleep. The drums were so loud. Uh, they were everywhere. And uh, it was a good feeling of restlessness and awareness. And uh, I think the most unique situation that I was in was uh, the Cuban translators were sitting around on the floor with the Tareg nomadic musicians from the Sahara Desert. And uh, I was asked to play with them. Um, and uh, I was maybe a little bit afraid uh, because some of my colleagues had said, are you gonna actually do that? And I said, yeah, I am, I'm gonna do it. Um, but I, I put my fear way back inside of me because I think the thrill of being part of something like that was more uh, intense burning in me. And what I did was, the reason why it was scary was because the women in the chiffon that were blowing all over, uh, pinks and blues, a tie-dye, uh, from the desert, they're nomads, and they, uh, they live by the stars. Uh, I was reminded by the Cuban translators that they, the women, uh, don't look them in the eye. Uh, that would be very impolite. And then, of course, you would be uh, uh, cursed. Uh, and I said, okay, you guarantee I'm not gonna look anybody in the eye, right? So I came out of this briefing with the men, and uh, I came out with my eyes lowered, and the women were waiting for me around the piano. and. Uh, when I got over to the piano, I just parted and let me sit down on the bench. And from then on, I was in this, uh, a, a feeling of weightlessness. And everything that I played, they sang. If I played low, they sang low. If I played high, and I, what I was doing was making arpeggios that were going to introduce the horn players, and that was uh, uh, going to open up our set. It was after midnight, it was really over 100 degrees, uh, but it was, you know, compared to how hot it had been in the daytime, that was comfortable. We were dressed in jalabas, and uh, we, we started with that kind of, uh, I, I would say, magic uh, vibration in the, in the entire hall. And from that time on, I knew that I was on the right track, went to Paris and recorded Echo. And Echo uh, featured Archie and uh, Sonny Murray and Alan Silva, and Gratian Manco III, who had all been with me in Algiers. And from that time on, we were just so happy and inspired going up to 
Paris with the uh, sound of the ambulances and all the emergency vehicles that uh, unstable augmented for. And that's what I based the echo on. That was the echo. <laughs>